You ever seen these videos in your Facebook feed as you're scrolling through? You don't need sound. They show text on screen and tell a story. And you see a lot of publishers do them and they're super engaging. How do you write those? Can you do it yourself? You totally can, because I'm gonna show you how. These types of videos, I call them text on screen videos, are so powerful because of the story that they tell. And the key is they are all about the writing. So they're all about the script, but how do you write it? I'm gonna show you exactly how to write scripts like this. It's a five step system that optimizes video for the Facebook feed. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you the single biggest mistake that people make when they're writing these scripts and exactly how to fix it so it never happens to you. So when you're designing video for Facebook or Instagram for that matter, there's this thing called the drop-off rate. Basically, it's when people tend to stop watching your video and do other things like look at pictures of their friend's kids or post pictures of their dog. That's really what they came to Facebook to do. And that's why we don't want to get all bent out of shape about trying to make people watch the whole video. Your drop off rate is never going to look amazing on Facebook. On average, if people are watching just the first 10 to 15 seconds of your video, it just means that you need to put the best stuff in your video in the first 10 to 15 seconds to make sure that people are sharing or taking whatever action you want them to take right at the beginning. So the way that we wanna write these scripts is we start with, first of all, the hook. If you have great footage, put that right at the beginning. That's great, but we're gonna assume that you don't have great footage right now. And what I recommend you start with here is a headline hook. I like to say BuzzFeed headline. A BuzzFeed headline is a headline that really is specific. It teases to exactly what you're going to get in the content so that you stick around. It also grabs people empathetically in the feed. So when you're scrolling through, you may not have incredible footage to make people stop and watch your video, but instead, since videos auto play on Facebook and Instagram, you're going to see this headline. So it's going to draw people in. Then again, front load. The first thing there is the most shareable piece of information. So whatever you're talking about, if it's a story about an event that happened or it's some sort of tip or trick even, you don't want to save the best. Instead, you wanna take the most shareable piece of information and put it as the second slide, then you can actually go to the body of this story. You give historical context, you talk about everything around it. Remember, these videos are only one minute long, so there's not a whole lot that you have to expand on here. And then you wanna add an extra layer of value, basically because there are a lot of videos out there. There's a, all sorts of stuff clamoring for our attention at all times, so you wanna make sure that you are over-delivering when it comes to value. So it's just a sentence that shows that you thought a little bit more about it, put it in more historical historical context, whatever it may be. And then you have your call to action at the end, typically, which is not necessarily share this video. I'm not a huge fan of that, but maybe you'll want to have people go to another article or go to another video, go to your website, whatever it may be. So this is the structure that you need to take people through. Okay, now before I get into the biggest mistake that people make, I'm gonna take you inside one of these scripts. So on the left, you'll see the text on screen, and this is exactly how the slides show up on screen. So you'll you'll see the headline, this revolutionary device lets you play the guitar in seconds. So there's a very clear click expectation there on what I'm going to get in this video. And it's specific and sexy. It's, it highlights the innovation. It's going to stop people. If this is something that resonates with you, you will stop and watch this video. And now we go into the shareable piece of information, even if you've never picked one up before. So we wanna make sure that you know that even if you've never picked up a guitar, you can play it in seconds when you buy this. Second most shareable piece of information, it's like Guitar Hero for a real guitar. Oh, intrigued, you just push buttons and strum. That's all there is to it. It's called Chord Buddy and it was a huge hit on Shark Tank. So now I'm going into the body of it and we're gonna, we, play, we played a clip from Shark Tank here and then we went into the context. Here's how it works. You can see push a button and strum, you'll be playing perfect chords immediately, but the goal isn't to use them forever, it's a learning system, et cetera, et cetera. And then we have this extra layer of value in Inventor, Travis Perry came up with the idea after seeing his daughter struggle to learn. And then we have the call to action. You can buy it right now at cordbuddy.com. So I highly recommend that you look at how this was crafted with that in mind, because this video alone has made this company hundreds of thousands of dollars, and it could do that for you too. Now, what is the biggest mistake that people make? People write like they are in college writing essays. 
<laughs> you always want what I call to pass the dive bar test. So that means you want to write video scripts as if they are words coming out of your mouth that you're saying to somebody, just chatting with them at a bar. Just like I'm talking to you right now. Does it sound like I'm delivering a high school essay? No, we're just talking, we're friends. This lets you do this, even if you've never done this. Hey, it was invented this way. Oh, and this. You always want to write super conversationally. As soon as you start writing, like you'd write an essay, people are going to automatically feel disconnected from you and therefore disconnected from empathy and therefore disconnected from purchasing. So what I want you to do is go back through after you've written your first draft and just look at everything and say, is this the way that I would say it if I was talking to a friend at a restaurant or a bar? Now this goes for all videos, whether you're using them for organic purposes or in ads. But if you do want to use them in direct response advertising, I highly recommend you check out this video where I show you exactly how to put them into a funnel or this video which shows you how to use conversational tone like I was just talking about in your Facebook ad copy to get it to convert better. See you in there.